Vert Jim back at y'all with another one. And this is the review of Nando's Peri Peri. My first time having Peri Peri chicken or the Peri Peri spice or the Peri Peri ingredient. But this is a review of it. And I got the Portuguese rice. And I got the Peri chips, which are fries. From my limited internet research, including the Nando's, Nando's Peri Peri website, the chain that started in South Africa and spread around the various countries, heard that it's quite popular in the UK, and it's becoming more popular in the, the United States, which I am located. Yes, Portuguese rice. We have here turmeric and peppers are included with it. It looks good, it smells good, and we got the chips with your fries in the bag. I'm sure they have some some bit of peri peri seasoning on it. Perry fries, Perry chips, if you will. There you have it. And for the chicken, I got the half a chicken and I got a medium. Now, I'm supposed to get the Perry mail with this, but I did not get the mail with it. It didn't come with it for some reason. Nonetheless, here's the chicken. And the only time I've really seen Perry Perry Chicken was a YouTube channel, Chell Army, where this guy, usually this guy, and a few videos, he had another person, I believe a female, where he would, where they would just eat various foods, and one was chicken, they would just eat it real savage style, and a, 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 a ASMR kind of thing, and he was really throwing down on it. <laughs> kind of like animals in the wild. <laughs> but it was cool. But yeah, let me try this Portuguese rice first before I actually get into the main event with the chicken. I don't know why they label it spicy on the box. I'm going to throw some spice to it. Tasty. I like it. In terms of these peri fries, slight seasoning on it. The basic fries, basic chips, but a slight seasoning, that peri seasoning on it. Now, According to the website, and let me make sure I get this right, about what is Perry Perry. Perry Perry is also known as African Bird's Eye Chili. And since this was based on Someone going to a Portuguese restaurant in South Africa and I'm using the Perry Perry. This is how it all essentially came to be. They were inspired by it. They're like, okay, let's use our Perry Perry, mix it in with some of our dishes, bring that Portuguese vibe to it, and you you come up with this. And this chicken is supposedly marinated in the peri peri for 24 hours. It says they mix peri peri with salt, garlic, lemon, onion, oil, and vinegar to make the signature sauce, and then they marinate it for 24 hours, and then they serve it. So what I'm gonna start with is this wing breast kind of thing going on over here and give you my take on it. I got the medium. 
And they have, <coughs> ooh, hot flavors. Spice that caught my throat a little bit. Yeah, but it's definitely tender chicken. Juicy and tender. Reminds me of the type of grilled kind of rotisserie kind of chicken thing they do over there at, uh, what, I can't think of the name of it right now. Yeah, Pollo Campero. It's pretty good. I want to get the taste of it. Get a little bit of that heat. In the future, I think I'll at least try the hot one. If not the extra hot. Yeah, but let me let me really pull pull this apart. Get into the breast of it. Is able to maintain the flavorfulness. And juicing this, which is usually hard to do. Now I've had more moist chicken, but hey, it's a grill. The grilled chicken is quite moist. It's good and tasty. Will I do this again? Yeah. Now I like the size of the fries, so I'll definitely get the fries again. And the Portuguese rice. What can I compare it to? Like I said, Pollo Campero in terms of the way they make the chicken and in terms of the style. Big, yeah, tasty, flavorful chicken. I see why people can go crazy about it. There's a good base there. Definitely a good base there. So yeah, it's definitely worth a try. If you got one nearby, or even if you want to go out your way a little bit, just try it out. Just say you had something from a chain base, especially in the United States, say, hey, this chain base originated in South Africa, popular in the UK, you know, just something a little bit different. A little culture change, especially if you, if you don't, you know, try those many different type of dishes. It's a good way to get into it. Different spices, things of that nature, and the way it's combined, and you know, with this Portuguese kind of cuisine, South African, find some Mediterranean type stuff in it as well. So, yeah, that's how I feel about it. Good stuff they're doing over here at Nando's Perry Perry. Look forward to trying the hot Iceberg Gym out. Deuces.